in Oakland with growing concerns and frustrations over crime. The latest numbers from Oakland police show a surge in crime. Data released from last week shows homicides are slightly down, robberies are up by 31 percent, car break-ins are up by 47 percent, and car thefts are up by 52 percent. This is all compared to last year. Public safety on the mind of both Oakland residents and city leaders as they rallied outside a community meeting this afternoon. And as our John Ramos reports, the one thing both sides agree on is that something has to change. Dueling public events in Oakland are highlighting the growing public divide over the issue of public safety in the city. A group of residents calling themselves Neighbors Together Oakland staged a morning block rally to express their frustration over the feeling that crime is out of control in the city. This event is community members, neighbors coming together, acknowledging that their voices have not been heard. The rally was held in advance of another community safety meeting featuring elected officials at a church next door. Former council member Lauren Taylor, who narrowly lost the last mayoral election, said various citizen groups are offering solutions, but they're not being heard at City Hall. People are afraid to uh, leave their homes, go downtown. Uh, we've got other challenges, everything from the rising homelessness to blight, and there's a sense that it's just business as usual by elected officials. We're very worried about where Oakland is and we're, you know, scared. Uh, some of us are scared to go to the lake or, you know, just go shopping. You have to think twice about it when you go to the grocery store. There is no single solution, but not enforcing the laws we have and removing consequences for breaking laws is no way to ensure the safety of, you know, a community. That's the feeling in town these days, that the police force has been gutted and criminals aren't being prosecuted. But inside the church, Mayor Shang Tao pointed out her efforts to increase law enforcement as well as crime prevention, and she rejected the calls outside to declare a public safety state of emergency. Calling for his state of emergency right now, when, when we are doing everything that this would allow for us to do too, I mean, that, that, let's, just, let's just call it what it is. It's just political theater. And so for me, I'm about doing the action and doing the work. And so this work has already been done. I've already got the investments. On to the next. District Attorney Pamela Price is also under fire. Her criminal justice reform agenda is seen by many as being soft on crime. But at the meeting, she struck back, saying the criticism of her is based on something else. That's racism and I'm calling it for what it is. If you believe the media hype, I went from a well-respected lawyer and businesswoman with 40 years experience in this community to a ugly, incompetent idiot who knew nothing about the law or the criminal justice system. Outside the church, waiting to get in was a true rarity, someone whose mind wasn't made up. Bob Nutter said he was coming to see if any solutions might be offered in between all the infighting. That seems to be the way things are these days. It's, sniping is much more important than uh, actually trying to uh, figure out what the problems are and, and how to best solve them. Everyone wants the same thing, a city where people respect each other. But it may be hard to get there when one side feels it's being demonized and the other feels it's being ignored. There is an ongoing effort to recall District Attorney Pamela Price. Price has pushed for restorative justice reforms. Her critics say it's letting violent criminals off the hook. The group behind the recall is in the process of collecting 98,000 signatures to get the issue on the ballot. Oakland has been without a permanent police chief for most of the year after Mayor Shing Tao fired LaRon Armstrong, saying he mishandled officer misconduct cases. The police commission held community forums last month to get feedback from the community on who the city's next police chief should be. The commission also hired a consulting firm to help with the search.